From the Opubco Studios at Britain and Broadway, this is the OSU Sports Edition of the Bedlam Nation Conversation with Andrea Cohen. I'm Jenny Carlson. Andrea, the big news of the weekend, NFL Draft, Brandon Pettigrew taken number 20 by the Detroit Lions. What about this pick for Brandon and also for Detroit? Um, for Brandon, I feel like it was a pretty good situation. There was, you know, a very kind of a consensus that, yeah, he should be a first rounder, but at that position, there's always a chance that you kind of slip out of there. So first tight end taken. Um, I think obviously, obviously very exciting for him. It'd be interesting going somewhere where there's a new, a new quarterback. Um, obviously, they had the big quarterback pick of, of the draft. Um, so overall, though, I think that that kind of has to be, you know, a relief and an exciting place to go. Uh, lots of opportunity to play. Yeah, and if they get one win, I guess everybody will think this season's Seri a success. Seriously, it's. I mean, in, in kind of, you know, when you have a new quarterback and it's kind of a young system, you would have to think that they are willing to play younger players and kind of get more people involved. So uh, hopefully for him, a good situation. This year's draft was a little bit light on Cowboys. Obviously a great day for Brandon Pettigrew. But it looks like next year – could have multiple first round draft picks and a really deep class of draftees for the Cowboys. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you would have to think that there will be two, mm -hmm. uh, almost definitely. Des Bryant, who it's curious to think where he might have gone this year had he been in the draft. I mean, I know we, t we talked about that a little bit with Sam Bradford and stuff at OU, but you know, Des, as far as you know, uh, you know, Crabtree went a little later, and you just kind of wondered where he would have fallen in that. Um, and then for Oklahoma State, they also, you know, at the left tackle position, they have they have the big guy there who, who will most likely, Russell Okung, who will likely be a first-rounder, um, also would have been interesting to see what he would have done because he almost, well, I don't know that he almost, but he had the option of coming out this year. Yeah, definitely a big draft next year for the Cowboys. Let's turn our attention now to baseball. Cowboys lose two of three this weekend. They're now ninth in the Big 12 standings at 6-11, and 11, and you, only, you have to be eighth to get into the conference tournament. Eighth place right now, Texas Tech. They have three more conference win, wins than the Cowboys. What's going on with OSU baseball right now? They're they're struggling a little bit. They won their opener uh, this weekend at ta or at A and M, excuse me, mm -hmm. um, but then lost the last two. Could just couldn't kind of get the runs on the board. Four and one, but they're giving up a lot more than what they expected. I think. I don't think they expected to be a great hitting team this year, but they expected to be a great pitching team, and now it's kind of gone the other way a little bit. Um, so yeah, they got two weekends to make it up. They have uh, K State coming up this weekend, and then Bedlam. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the one game in Tulsa, the two in Oklahoma City. So they need to pick up some wins in the next. Uh, uh, two weekends or they're at risk of missing the Big 12 tournament, which is crazy because going into this weekend, they're number 25 in the country. <laughs> and yeah, they might not be at the Big 12 tournament. So it is a strange, a strange scenario for them. Yeah. Lastly, let's turn our attention to uh, a, sort of a celebrity who was on campus last week. Jackie Joyner Kersey was on campus. Why was she there and what did she do? She was speaking for uh, the OSU Women's Forum on, let's see, let's get my days straight. I guess it was Thursday, <laughs> I hope. Um, and so Wednesday night, she went and talked to the men's women's track teams, just kind of a little... You know, in the little uh, room where they watch uh, football uh, film, uh -huh. <laughs> this little tiny room, yeah. and uh, and just talk to them a lot about what it's like to be a college athlete, and they, it was just all question and answer, uh, and it was just kind of a cool thing to see because I think she can be pretty candid with these kids, and they have a lot in common, and she uh, she seemed like she really enjoyed it, and I would say the kind of the funniest thing. Uh, for me to come out of it was afterwards I was talking to her for a couple of minutes and uh, and I asked her about German Fernandez do you know who he is and she's like oh yeah <laughs> and you know like it was crazy to not and so you kind of realize what a big deal he is obviously the really good distance runner for OSU yeah um, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him in the next couple of weeks but yeah Jackie Joyner Cursor I think that that was a really cool thing for the track teams particularly for the women's track team you know afterward they're all taking their pictures and she was a big deal when those kids were growing up and we know you'll have more on German Fernandez in coming weeks as he prepares to maybe win some championships Andrew, we appreciate you coming in. Stay with the best coverage team anywhere every day at newsok.com and in the Oklahoman.